Well, hello everyone. Thank you once again for tuning into God TV and today with Ward. And I'm Ward Simpson and I'm so grateful to you, our partners and viewers from around the world who every week take time to watch this program. You know, every week it's our desire, it's our intention to bring you testimonies from our partners, uh, get you to meet our staff around the world, introduce you to friends of mine and those I've just met in ministry across the globe, and, and just share with you what's on our heart. We thank God for you, we pray for you, and we know that you're praying for us. Last week we had Lendl Cooley, dear brother and friend, revivalist and a worship leader. And this week we have special guests with you today, John Michael Kilpatrick and Rob Cox. They are two special and dear friends of mine, dear brothers. John Michael and I go back 21 years now. And John Michael can be seen and Rob every Sunday on Church with God TV. This is a brand new program that we began just a few months ago, and we know that it's a blessing to you. We thank God for you. So we're going to have an interview with John Michael and Rob, but just before that, take a look at this. We'll be right back. God TV's desire is for those of you who do not have a church to bring church right to you. Listen, whatever it takes, stay on fire for God. Go listen to people. Listen to the Holy Spirit. I want to say to somebody watching them by television, don't give up your place. Let me tell you something, ladies and gentlemen. When the glory of God comes in, you are more than a conqueror. More than enough. More than enough. Don't let the devil intimidate you in Jesus' name. Come on, give him praise. God is going to open up the eyes of the saints of God. We're going to have a fresh revelation of his glory and his power. Come on, give God praise. Hallelujah. There's a change in the air. It's real, and it's about to burst forth. Praise God. John Michael, every Sunday, every Saturday, Saturday and Sunday, uh, Church with God TV is broadcast to the nations around the globe. We don't know how many people watch it, but we know that there's the possibility of 300 million homes that can get it. But we are receiving testimonies, and we know God is doing a powerful work through Church with God TV. So I just want to thank you for being a part of that. And Rob Cox, they all know you. They see you doing the worship. And our viewers want to hear from you a little bit, get to know you some more. But John Michael, you and I go back 21 years. We went through Bible school together, went through the revival together. Yes, we did. Uh, you know, Ward, we obviously love the Browns revival. But I was just thinking today that God TV was the first network that aired the mm. Browns revival. So we just want to thank Wendy for believing in revival. Amen. And that word is really, <coughs> that really is why we love being a part of God TV. Because you guys are always in the forefront and you're looking for a move of God. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're just so honored to be here. And uh, the history that we have together is amazing. But, um, but yeah, we, we love church with God TV. What a great idea that you had and the partners and just put this whole thing together. But what I love is the feedback. Mm -hmm. The feedback from the viewers have been amazing. I was just reading a testimony today of an email that came in from Blanche. And she was saying the part of the world that she lives in, she doesn't have a spirit-filled church that preaches truth, that just is on the cutting edge. And uh, she said, but church... Uh, well, God TV has become her church. But mm -hmm. then when y'all started church with God TV, she finally felt like she had a home. Yeah. And so really, that's that's really why we started this program and with your vision is just to give people a place where they feel like they're at home. Yeah. They have a pastor. And that's the thing that we love. We feel like we're not only pastoring our local church, but we're also pastoring people from around the world that are just hungry. They're hurting. And, you know, Ward, I think what's missing today is there's, there's a lot of ministers and there's a lot of pastors, but what people are really looking for is fathers. Fathers, because they're hurting. Mm -hmm. 
they're lost and they just feel like they need somebody that they can trust to tell them the truth, even when it don't feel good. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and that's what I believe this program has done for us. It's just given us a voice to love on the fatherless. We know lots of people come from different backgrounds, different religions, and they don't have a father yeah. that gives them good godly wisdom and insight into scripture. And so that's what I love about it. I love being able to connect with those people watching from around the world. But Rob, uh, so honored to have Rob here with us. Rob has been our worship leader. And uh, Rob has an incredible testimony. And we just wanted to give Rob an opportunity just to kind of share with the people your heart, Rob, and your background, uh, kind of where you came from, and just share the story. It's really awesome. I love hearing it every time. <laughs> yeah, I love telling it. Uh, well, when I was 15 years old, um, my dad thought it would be a good idea to get in a Volkswagen bus and drive from California all the way to Pensacola, Florida, uh, 1996, uh, around that time, to visit the Brownsville Revival. But for our viewers around the world, how long does that take? Can you remember? <laughs> I don't know. Is it's, it a week? Yeah, it's a 3,000 mile, 3, mile yeah, drive. I'm not sure how long that takes. You know, I'm yeah, from I Barbados. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I drive around the island 10 times, you know, in one day. <laughs> yeah, it's 3,000 miles. Yeah, but just so you know, we are in the state of Florida today, and I drove from Pensacola to Orlando, just in Florida, and it took me seven hours driving at 75 miles per hour. So he drove from California. Your dad drove yeah, my dad did, from yeah. California to Florida mm -hmm. because he was seeking God, right? Yes. He was yeah. hungry for yeah. more of God. Yes. And what happened? Yeah, he just wanted more, um, and he heard uh, through word of mouth about the Brownsville Revival, Pastor John Kilpatrick. And so him and a few friends drove out there and waited in the lines and got in and experienced the presence of God like he had never experienced it before. And while he was in there, someone inside the church had laid hands on my dad at the altar and prophesied and prayed and said, your son is going to be a worship pastor someday. And so my dad came back across the country with some CDs of Brownsville music, uh, Lyndall Cooley CDs, and said, son, impartation. Mm -hmm. Uh, this is the word I had from the Lord, and this is, I'm believing on this. And so that summer, I started just playing music in my dad's church wow. all, all day long. Yeah. Wow. John Michael, you know, we, heard, we hear so many testimonies then and even now of people that went to the revival, and your dad never prayed for them, or Steve Hill, or Lendl Cooley, or Dr. Brown, or whoever the names were. It was just maybe... Um, a senior citizen, somebody on the prayer team, a little old lady, or, or even a youngster, prayed for them, and the power of God come on them. Absolutely. You know, it's not, it's not man, it's God working. That's, that's it. right. And uh, that's what we're praying for. That's what we pray for every day. We're praying for revival in our church. We're praying for a fresh move of heaven. You know, after you've tasted, after you've experienced, you can never go back. That's right. To life as normal. That's right. You know, and, and even the disciples, they gave out those handkerchiefs, and there's a transference of power that takes place. And so that's why these networks, God TV, is so important to get the gospel out because the power that happens in these services is transferred through those cameras. I mean, we've had more testimonies of people just watching the videos and experience the, an outbreak of the Holy Ghost in their churches while they're showing it, just off our testimonies. Yeah. Those baptismal testimonies have went everywhere. Mm -hmm. So um, it's just been an incredible thing to see the advancement of technology. And now the kingdom of God is being able to use it. Amen. You know, you mentioned something earlier. God TV was, I think, the only network that was even interested That's in right. broadcasting revival. That's right. You know, at the time, it was Wendy's um, heart to spread revival, and it still is. It was one of the key ingredients when we first met. Yes. Before she would, you know, hand over to me, she wanted to make sure I was a revivalist. Yes. And I was a Zionist. Yes. And I'm both, my whole family. Yeah. But Church with God TV, Rob, you know, I want to make sure when we had the vision for it, it's because we know that there's so many people out there that are not church. They want to go to the church, but there's none in their home. There's none in their village. There's none in their city. Mm -hmm. um, maybe there is, but they're not preaching the gospel. They're just, you know, it's dead. Yeah. And, uh, and we heard that. 
you know, we didn't make that up. We knew that. We knew it in our own lives. Yeah. And uh, I have so many friends. They, they, they live here and, and they don't have a church. And I said, how can this be? So in the meantime, until they find their church, come and be a part of Church with God TV. Mm -hmm. As John Michael was saying, I know you lead the worship every week. It's only two or three songs, but I mean, just talk to our viewers a little bit and let them know how that, what that means to you and, and make them feel part of our family. Well, we love that you tune in and um, coming from where I came from and the environment that I was in and being a part of a church and with a pastor and with a team of people who are hungry f to see God move and hungry for revival and hungry for his presence. Uh, it's really contagious and the environment, just such a great environment to worship. And it does um, really bless me and bless our team because we do receive testimonies and, and we receive uh, emails from different people around the world saying they watch and the impact that it makes on them. And it really does bless our team. And it's such an honor to be a part of a move of God like that and to have an impact um, around the world, you know, it's amen. so powerful. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And I should say to you, if you're watching, Rob's happily married man, Julie's his wife. Yes, sir. Yes. <laughs> and um, two kids, right? Mm -hmm. Two kids. Canyon and Banning. Okay. Now, John Michael, I saw Rob move here from California, mm. and like he brought a posse with him. It was um, it was a testimony to his character that he would have such a group of people follow him. Can you talk about that a little bit, maybe? Yeah, you know, uh, one thing I've noticed about Rob, Rob's not just, you know, a friend because that's his job. Rob's learned the art of fathering. Mm -hmm. And like I said earlier, I think the body of Christ is just in a place where there's not a lot of fathers. Right. So Rob would take these people in. He would be witnessing to them. They might not even be saved. He'd bring them in the church. But not only just bring them in the church and have them sit there and listen to the service, which is what a lot of us do, but Rob would go the extra mile and he would say, now listen, I know you don't know how to balance a checkbook, but let me teach you how to balance a checkbook. Here's how you start a business. You need to go out there. You need to get there on time. You stay later than everybody else and just teach them practical stuff. And I think a lot of that's missing in the church today. And so Rob just brings to light that and he's just their friend. And so that's one of the reasons why we, we love Rob is because he's not just up there just with some band members. He's creating an atmosphere of praise. Amen. And he's creating a team that has the same vision. And he's casting that vision. But these guys are just fun to watch. And, <laughs> and I know we can't capture all of it on God TV, but really that worship, it creates the atmosphere so the word can come forth and truth and dead just kind of flows through what, worship, what happens in worship. Rob, I'm going to show a quick video, but when we come back, I want to speak to our viewers just about young people in general, their children, their friends. Um, I want to give them some hope and encouragement. You know, God TV is for the youth. We need to reach them. Yes. Our young people yes. are, are dying and going to hell. We've, yes. got, we've, got, we've got to do something. Yes, we do, yes. So we're going to have more with Rob and John Michael in just a minute. But I want you to know from the bottom of our hearts, we believe every Christian belongs in a local church. We believe you need a pastor. My own life, friends, I cannot survive without a pastor. Hmm. I have the privilege to be able to go to a man of God hmm. and get advice from him and get counsel, and he can speak into my life. It means the world to me, and I pray the same thing will happen with you. You will find a man or a woman of God will pass to you and look after your soul. Until the meantime, Pastor John Kilpatrick and his team with Church with God TV have stepped up to the plate and they'll do it for you. We started a brand new initiative at God TV. It's our blog. We are receiving so many contributors to our blog. It's taken off. It's just so exciting. Take a look at this and we'll be right back with more with Rob Cox and John Michael Kilpatrick. We are so excited to be moving into a brand new season at God TV in 2017. We're gonna be bringing you a fully revamped online community for you and your family to engage with every single day. You can start finding exclusive new content only at blog.god.tv. 
We've got contributors from all over the world who are going to be sharing their stories and their perspectives about what is going on in 2017 in the world, in the news, in the church, and in your home. We're so excited for you to get on board with us, and we're even going to have opportunities for you to contribute too. So stay tuned. Go now to blog.god.tv. Be blessed. We'll see you soon. Well, welcome back. John Michael and Rob, you know, you guys have something in common. You're both PKs, pastors, kids. So that is an amazing feat in itself. And we don't have time to talk about that. But, you know, the whole thing we're talking with our viewers about Church with God TV, um, it's so easy to invite someone to church with God TV. They may not come to your, to your own local church. And it's sometimes, you know, it's, it's hard or awkward to invite somebody to church. You never know what they're going to get that day. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but with Church with God TV, you can say, hey, tune in to Church with God TV. But give us some tips on... Uh, on how we should reach the youth, because that's, that's an important part of what God TV is all about. You know, Ward, uh, we all know that the kingdom's made up of relationships. And the Bible clearly states, Jesus said, this will they know that you're my disciples, that you have love one for another. Amen. So I remember in my life, I was on the basketball team at high school, and there was this boy that was pretty much rejected. He was our water boy. And nobody really gave him that much attention and everything. And he just didn't maybe look like everybody else. And, um, but I remembered that I just, I just loved on him. I developed a relationship with this boy. And long story short, I would go to his house, hang out. We'd have these long, long chats at night about God. And I'll never forget this boy, after the relationship that I built with him, I was able to lead him into a prayer of salvation. Mm. So little did I know, I, I didn't just leave it at that. I picked him up and I took him with me to church. Matter of fact, I couldn't drive back down with my parents. We would all go pick him up oh. and we would take him to church with us. Little did we know, Ward, that this man tur- would turn into a powerful worship leader. His name is Mike Motley. Oh. And Mike came, he got saved, he was a part of our church, and he served under Lyndall Cooley, which was our worship leader at Brownsville Assembly. I didn't know that about Mike. But my point is, and to all the viewers watching right now on God TV, God's given you relationships. There's people that are a part of your life right now that you're not even thinking, oh, well, they'll, they'll just, you know... Don't, don't overthink things. Just show the love of Christ. Yeah. Just take an opportunity to share what God's done in your life, and that's contagious. So if we're going to share the, the message of Christ and the message of, of salvation, we have to show the compassion and love for the lost. So I think that's really the foundation Amen. of what God's going to do. Amen. And Rob, the young people are always misunderstood. Yeah. You know, did you have issues in church where the seniors didn't really understand and didn't get behind what you were trying to do? Yeah, I just think sometimes um, some uh, more seasoned in the faith or more down the road further than Mm -hmm. maybe a young adult or a teenager. uh, I think just meeting those teenagers and young adults where they're at um, with easy functional things like, you know, John Michael was saying, just speaking to them, listening to them. Mm -hmm. If they need a meal, taking them out to eat or whatever, just doing what Jesus did with the disciples, being relational, that's really uh, what connects. Because I have this saying that I live by with uh, young people and young adults. It's correction outside of relationship leads to rebellion. And so I think if there's no relationship there, but you're just trying to bring all this correction in their life, they may not hear it Mm. unless you listen first and meet them where they're at. You know, like Jesus did with the woman at the well, just meeting them where they're at and listening to them and then doing little things. You don't have to go to Bible college and do all this stuff to reach a generation. Mm-hmm. If, you, if it's your neighbor or kids that you see in school and tell them, hey, check out Church with God TV. And then you just do little things like just anything you can to help them out. I think that would change lives. Young people, though, we, we try to conform them to our ways the way we dress, the way we talk, the way we worship. 
-hmm. You know, and I think that's a big problem. They need to understand that you have to reach the young people where they're at. Mm. Yeah. You yeah. know, instead of trying to tell them how to dress. Yeah. Yeah. Show them the love of Christ. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> you know, be salt, be light. Yeah. yeah. Be an encouragement. And that's what we were encouraged with you. We saw how you just had, um, you know, you just took care of these young people. And I know it was one of the things that really encouraged Pastor Kilpatrick when he saw the way you operate. So we thank God for you guys. Yeah. I want to encourage you to be a part of Church with God TV. I'm talking with John Michael Kilpatrick. I call him my vice president. <laughs> <laughs> and... Uh, I'm the ambassador. <laughs> and uh, Rob Cox, our worship leader, if you've just tuned in. Every, um, every week, Saturday and Sunday, we bring church to your home. We bring it to your mobile device. We bring church to you, and we want you to be a part of church. We want you to have a pastor. We want you to have a place where you can send your prayer requests, a place where they know your name, they know your address. And right now, John Michael, we get um, testimonies. You get testimonies from all over the world. I've seen That's right. many of them from countries that you'd never reach or thought you would ever reach. That's right. And, you know, no matter how many prayer requests we get, Lord, what people don't know, we want to make sure that you know this, is that every prayer request, we print them out. And Dad personally lays his hand. He reads over every single prayer request, lays hands on it, and he's agreeing with you. That's what we're doing. We're trying to come into a relationship with you and let you know we're not just a program, yeah. you know, that you're going to get a nice little sermon here. This is a relational thing. So if you don't have a church home and you just can't find a local church around you, we want to be that church for you, Church Amen. with God TV. Yes. Amen. And we're going to partner with other churches in other countries to expand this uh, vision and this mission we have of, of Church with God TV. We began here in the U.S. because I began with my church. I began with my pastor. He's been such an influence over my life that I wanted you to have an experience. God has used him to, to have two revivals. One that's probably the most famous one in my generation. And then the Bay Revival with Nathan Morris. And Nathan's a dear friend as well. But before we go today, Rob's going to sing you a song that he wrote. But before that, I just want to thank you again for partnering with God TV. You know, the vast majority of everything you see on God TV, you pay for. It's not paid for by the ministry. We have some ministries that pay, and we thank God for them, and we partner with them, and we work closely with them. But the vast majority you see, you are paying for that. It's because of you. So Church with God TV mm -hmm. can only happen because of you. That's right. So we thank you. We thank God for you. We cannot do it without you, friends. We want you to know that God TV is fertile soil. We're not abusing your money. We're good stewards of it. And we are standing before God. And we're saying, Lord, please help us to be good stewards over your people's gifts and donations. Watch this piece on becoming a partner with God TV. And then Rob's going to lead us with one of the songs that he wrote. You shall know the truth, and the truth shall set you free. Every day, the gospel is being shared with millions across the world, breaking down dividing barriers and uniting people together in common purpose. In a world filled with uncertainty, war, famine, and political unrest, sharing the truth is more important than ever. Let the whole world hear it! Jesus said! Become a partner today and see God's truth continue to reach living rooms and lives across the globe. Go to www.god.tv slash donate or call the number on your screen today.
My Father has delivered me from my enemies. I will rejoice. I will sing praise. You are the name above all names. You are my hope, ancient of days. You are the only God we praise. My Father, my Father has delivered me from the mouth of lies. Thank you, Jesus. My Father has delivered me from the hands of giants. My Father has delivered me from my enemies. And I will rejoice. I will sing praise. You are the name. Above all names, you are my hope, ancient of days. You are the only God we praise. My heart will sing, my heart will cry out. You are the king yes you are the king of glory yes i will rejoice i will sing praise you are the name above all names you are my hope ancient of days you are the only God we pray. 